now flies to South Africa. I am very sad to leave. We are currently booking our flights back to South Africa. And they are very expensive. God damn. They are very expensive. <laughs> but as far as we understand, our travel insurance will pay for it. The maximum that they'll pay for a flight is $10,000 US per dollars per person, which is just... We'll never get a flight like that. Business so. class! <laughs> But yeah, they should they should cover it. Um, it's in writing. We followed all the things that we needed to. We're actually gonna phone them now and actually just double check, and then we're gonna book it, and we'll be home on Sunday. Whew. All right, let's do this. Let's we double check that Emma. What's not applicable? Oh, why? Not available. No flights. Why 64 million. 64 million? What's happening? Is there no flight? Yes, sir. Uh, could you assist me with uh, activating political evacuation? Um, from the notice on the website, it says I must contact you to notify you of my plans and the cost. Issued by the uh, US D Department of Security on the 11th of March. Level 3, Global Level 3. Um, I want to thank you for notifying us with that 10 days. Okay. All right, so do you already have uh, return flight tickets already? No, I don't have. I'm currently living in Bali, and I want to book to go home to my home country. I advise that you um, book a flight, and uh, you can submit uh, those charge fees to us and file for reimbursement. Okay, so I book a flight on my credit card, right? And then I just Correct. submit the ticket and the receipt to you. As long as I've let you know now before the, the 21st of March, which is in the, within the 10 days, everything should be fine. Right. We just try to encourage members to contact airlines to make arrangements and submit for reimbursement. Looking at a flight now, it's $1,200. Right. We'd be able to reimburse that. Your policy, let's see. Yeah, it looks like your overall uh, policy maximum is uh, 250000 Okay. All right. So, All right, so a $1,200 flight is not going to hurt at all. for that and you actually you you're eligible because you did the right things and we, we thank you for that um so just book your flight and uh when you return home file for reimbursement and uh please uh, submit all information so we can reimburse you properly i'll go ahead and book that flight then all right sir thank you thank you for your help good luck to you sir thank you very much no problem bye <sighs> okay gonna book our flights then wow. given the go ahead there it is, Denpazar, Bali, Johannesburg, South Africa, 40 million IDR. Okay, that's that. Tickets are booked. We leave on Saturday night through Singapore to South Africa. We'll be there on Sunday morning. Okay. That's that. Bali journey is over. Next chapter. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Hi, can you hear me? Any good news? Uh, we're flying home. We have a ticket. We'll be home on Sunday. What? We'll be home on Sunday morning. Oh what? Sunday morning? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah that you're on a flight. I oh, know it's not what you guys want, but the sooner you get home, the better. Yeah. You fly in Singapore Airlines. Yeah. Direct from Singapore home. Yeah. Okay. Be safe. Talk to me before you fly and send me your flight details, okay? All I right, love you good. lots. Love and you too. Tell Alex he will be fine. He yeah. will be fine and we'll welcome him when he arrives. Okay. I'm hoping I'm not doing this for nothing. I'm hoping that when I pack my bags, these are going back to South Africa and not sitting here and having someone tell me that they've been cancelled again. So it's the next morning and we have, as you saw, booked our flights to South Africa and just hoping to goodness that they don't get cancelled and we not stuck here in Indonesia. We've heard some stories that Singapore flights are being cancelled so we're really hoping for the best that we can get out of here. We leave in 24 hours. To make things even more complicated, 
nothing's official yet, but people are saying that emergency tourist visas are being granted or just extended for people that are currently in Indonesia. Nothing's official. I don't know the official word. That's just what we've heard on Facebook and a few other places like from our landlords. So, so much well, uncertainty. Then, well then, why didn't our visa agent tell us that yesterday then? Because they didn't know until today. She should have said, listen, there is a possibility. But she straight said no. Okay, there's no exemption. They like can leave can't the country. Okay. 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 So yeah, we have because to they not issued emergency visa yet. So the way you can do is leave the country after your visa finished. Please be aware when you are booking flights that you're actually paying for the price that is advertised originally. We found that when you go and click on a flight and then it takes you to the website page, they magically upgrade you to business class or first class because there's no more economy seats available. So please be aware before you pay at the last minute. We are aware of a story that is just crazy from Loza's Leisure who paid £8,000 for his flight home from Colombia to the UK when he was only expecting to pay 400 Is it done? Not my mind truth. Here we go. Mm hmm. My mind truth. Fly home. Come on. <sighs> These are very stressful times now. Alex is trying to book a flight too and you go through to try and book and the tickets are gone, the seats are gone. Booking confirmed? Yeah. It's official. And there it is, Alex booking confirmed. He leaves on Monday, so two days after us. Let's hope that there's no lockdown by then. More developments. <laughs> it has something to do with the uh, emergency visa that's being granted. Did Claire tell you that we've paid for our flights and we've booked? Ah, oh, you already did that. Okay. Yeah, we and had to last night. I know, I know, I know because timing but is important. Yeah. We tried but to book. Anyway. We tried to. We were very stressed. We tried to book some Emirates yes. flights, and they. The tickets were getting sold out while we were sitting there trying to book. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. After booking our flights last night, this morning we've woken up and it's just, even though you'd think it would be clear, there's still so much uncertainty. People have been asking us, are you guys sure that um, flights out of Singapore are still allowed? And are you sure yours isn't cancelled? So we obviously have been stressing the whole day because that's also a factor to take into account is if that flight from Singapore to South Africa gets cancelled then we will be stranded in Singapore. And yep. that's just a very such a very stressful situation and essentially if we're there for too long we will lose our jobs because we won't be able to teach. If we do get held in Singapore and we want to come back to Bali, we would not be able to come back to Bali. So it's a very important fact to remember if you do leave Bali, you have to come back with a medical certificate from your home country. That is a requirement at the immigration office when you get, arrive at the airport. So keep that in mind if you do want to do a visa run. You're going to be expected to show a medical certificate, mandatory med medical certificate, no matter where you come from. We did cancel our Malaysian flight and we actually got credit, so we will be able to use that credit any time in the year. It's valid for good. 365 days. Yeah. So with that original Malaysia flight, we would have um, gone into Malaysia, so we would have passed through immigration. And when you pass through immigration, you have to go into quarantine. So an important fact to remember if you are going to be booking flights at this time to book a direct flight if you can so that you remain in transit. It is so important. Immigration and you actually enter the country, collect your bags and then book another flight out. You will be basically entering the country and you might be susceptible to go into quarantine. I know in Singapore, if you do that in Singapore, you will go into quarantine mandatory. They, no exceptions. Malaysia, same thing. We've actually heard a couple of horror stories about people landing in KL and having to go through immigration. 
and they've been put into quarantine and it sounds like it's absolute hell. They've had their phones taken away, their passports taken away, they've had children separated from mothers. Uh, It's actually quite, quite sickening. Yes, so we advise the viewers of this channel, please just don't fly into Malaysia. It's not worth it. Um, Do not book any Air Asia or Jetstar small Asian flights. Rather just book the big, I know they're expensive flights, but it's just worth it. It takes out, oh well, we're hoping that it takes away the stress of potentially being put into quarantine so you can book the big flights out of wherever you are now for us we're in bali so you, we've got there's a couple of flights on qatar airlines emirates and singapore airlines and the whole transfer is handled by the airline itself and you stay in transit if you try save money and book a cheap flight you are going to have to exit through immigration and then you're in trouble so really keep that in mind yeah we also just heard of a girl that did a quick visa run to KL in one day about a week ago when she was still able to and she flew back to Bali and she's got coronavirus from being in the KL airport for one day. Very, very sad. Hopefully she, she'll be okay, but very, very scary. She's in quarantine now, not working, her medical bills racking up. It's just a very st- stressful situation. But the very main reason why we sat down in front of the camera today is to thank everyone on YouTube, on Instagram for the support. Um, it's just it's just been wonderful to see people backing each other and being there for each other. And um, we really, really appreciate it. We're all in this together. Everyone in the world is in the same boat. Um, we're just documenting our experience so that you know you can see other people are going through what you're going through and it's just to be relatable but we will get through this all of us together one big community one big global family so yeah guys if you're going through the same thing please please comment down below your experience let us know what's happening in your life at the moment it it really helps us to relate to you it helps us knowing that other people are going through the same thing as us. We can support each other and be there for each other. So And let's make the comments a wealth of information, of knowledge yeah. for other people to draw from. Yeah, so that we, we can all figure out what to do because there's just so much uncertainty. Yeah. Governments don't know what they're doing. They're changing their minds on a daily basis. <laughs> it's just crazy. We need to stick together and just share information. The most common decision amongst travelers is to just go home, fly home to your country and stay there for a little while, you know, when all the dust settles. It's just easier that way if we're all home with our families. You need that support structure at this time, you know. You don't know how long this is going to go on for and how long do you want to be stranded in an unfamiliar place far away from your family and friends without financial or emotional support it's been a tough decision to make but we definitely happy we've done it we're just hoping that there's no roadblocks along the way as you might have seen alex our roommate that we've been traveling the world with for over a year now is coming to south africa with us um, he's on the same flights as us now we had to change his flight last minute um, we just stress that he's not going to be with us when he enters south africa and he might run into some complications but for now he because he hasn't traveled from the US or Italy or Iran or China any very high risk countries he shouldn't have a problem getting into South Africa since we share travel history we should be okay we thought that booking the flights would all be good it would all be chilled from now but it's it is still very scary Um, and then we've obviously got the coronavirus to worry about too and I don't think we're as worried about ourselves contracting the coronavirus as we are spreading the coronavirus. I just don't want to make anyone else sick if I get contract the virus and I don't know that I've got it, you know. But we are going to go into a two-week isolation in our own home, far away from our grandparents. We will not even be hugging them, kissing them hello. We won't even be near them. So, yeah, that has to be done if you are traveling home. Don't just run up to hug your mom when you arrive at the airport. It's really, really sad, but 
Just gotta give a Bluetooth hug, I guess. That's just Way how it from, is. From a distance. <laughs> just for two weeks. At the same time, don't take this lightly just because you think you're young and healthy. Yeah. We just heard a story of a California man who hasn't traveled at all. He's just been living in California and he went to Disneyland. He's 34 years old and he just died from coronavirus. That's two years older than me. It's yeah. not... You're not immune. Sorry that this is all stressful and our spirits are not... Soaring high right Soaring now. high, yeah. But, but we will be okay. Yes, we'll get there. We have to keep and positive. And we'll try and stay positive for you guys because we know positivity is all we need right now. So we'll try and bring that to you. <sighs> okay.